Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dave Williams. I'm the uh, CTO of Stoke. Um, I've been there about three months, and uh, you can probably tell from looking at me, I've, I've been in other places before that. So we believe at Stoke that the mobile broadband industry is going to be bigger than oil. It's a, there's a huge opportunity for many different pieces of the puzzle to make money in this space. But like the oil industry, the wireless industry has a finite resource, and we'll get to that on the next slide. But the one I'd like to concentrate on this slide is 77% growth in wireless broadband in the first half of this year. We won't know the second half, obviously, till about January, February, but fantastic growth in wireless broadband because people really want that wireless device to be their internet device. There was a study done about three, four years ago by the ITU when mobile broadband really started to take off in Europe around 3G technology on how much spectrum an operator would need for the next five, six years of growth. So this goes to, through to 2015. And in essence, what the ITU came up with was with a usage pattern of around two gigabytes per month per subscriber, they would need 180 megahertz of spectrum mm. to continue growing at the rate without blocking or doing cell splits or whatever else. But nobody has that anywhere in the world. So what do they do? There's a number of different solutions. They can go to small cells. They can develop head nets. But the obvious one that they're all now looking at and some of the uh, RFIs that we're responding to as part of Stoke, everybody now is interested in Wi-Fi. It's 40 megahertz, and this varies from country to country, 40 megahertz of potentially free spectrum, although there is no free ride in any technology. For them, they don't have to pay the FCC any usage fees for using that spectrum band. So technical issues. There is no one company that a wireless operator can go to today to do a turnkey Wi-Fi solution for them. We're responding currently to, to three global RFIs on Wi-Fi, and Stoke as a company brings one small piece of the puzzle, and there's maybe four or five different companies would have to, to be brought together to bring the solution, what the operators are looking for today. And that is seamless authentication, auth authorization, billing, and how they bill for the capabilities of Wi-Fi, because don't forget, if they build a very high quality Wi-Fi network themselves with very good backhaul, you could get as much as eight megabits per second on the downlink, which is exactly what they've got with you know, the better built LTE networks. Service portability, how does somebody doing a video session on LTE walk into a building and flip over to Wi-Fi and that session is still there? How does that all pull together? Security, how does somebody build a Wi-Fi network or partner with somebody that's built a Wi-Fi network and feel comfortable that it's as secure as cellular? That is a big issue, and that's an issue where we play at Stoke. And then device client dependencies. Some, somebody talked a little bit earlier about the client and how smart the clients are, which they are, but they take so much bandwidth inside the device currently that you know it's doubtful in their present form that they will be mass market, is my understanding. So they're looking for scalable, high performance, minimal touch to millions of devices. If you've got 90 million phones or, or smartphones in your network, you don't want to touch them at all unless that customer is ready to do an upgrade. That's a big, big issue. If you loaded a client into a number of different iterations of those phones, just managing that is an absolute nightmare. And that's why, you know, there's been no single successful Wi-Fi deployment by any major uh, wireless operator today. 